In this video, I've gathered some amazing mods to further upgrade the performance and stability of your Commonwealth. I've prioritized the latest mods over older ones, but for those of you who consistently watch my weekly best videos, you might notice a few overlaps. Nevertheless, I believe these mods focused on performance and stability enhancements will continue to be a valuable addition to your modding journey. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. I sincerely want to emphasize the Baka Scrap Heap, Script Memory Limit Expander mod for this topic. This is because it's the mod I've personally felt the most impact from while playing the game. Using the F4C plugin, this mod doubles, triples, or quadruples the script memory allocation from the default value. Before using this mode, I consistently experienced random CTDs between 1 to 2 hours of gameplay. However, since using this plugin, I've significantly reduced the occurrence of CTDs. It's clear that in Bethesda games, CTDs often occur due to memory limitations rather than mod conflicts, and this incredible plugin greatly alleviates this issue. Next, let me introduce Baka Max Papyrus Ops. This mod enhances the performance of Papyrus scripts by porting the max operations per task patch from Papyrus Tweaks NG. While the basic Fallout 4 Papyrus can only perform up to 100 operations per task, this mod allows for more. The default is set to 500, which is 5 times the vanilla limit, and this can be adjusted in the Bacamax Papyrus Ops.toml file. Additionally, this mod prevents the toggle script's command from being overwritten by stack dumps or game saves, and it also guards against the game attempting to allocate memory with a negative page size in certain situations. These features are truly remarkable. Next up is Escape Freeze F4SE. This plugin addresses freezes caused by deadlocks during specific condition checks in the game. It's especially useful in combat situations, as it detects game halts due to condit and lock during deadlock, and releases the game stoppage within 3 to 5 seconds. With this plugin, you can enhance the safety of your game even further. Next up, we have MCM Booster. As the name suggests, this mod shortens the loading time of the mod configuration menu. The MCM provides a menu to adjust settings for various mods, a feature needed by many mods. However, the extended loading time of MCM often causes inconvenience for users. MCM Booster caches the configuration files of MCM in a format that can be quickly read, reducing the loading time almost instantly. This mod is compatible with any language, easy to install with no ESP, making it a recommended choice for you. It's safe, hassle-free, and doesn't impact your save files. Next, we have the Fallout Priority, F4S plugin. This plugin automatically sets the game process priority of Fallout 4 to high. By using this plugin, it forcibly allocates most of the CPU to Fallout 4, preventing interruptions caused by other processes. It achieves this by calling Winnipeg Set Priority Class in the F4C plugin Dell main. It's easy to install and configure, and it can contribute to improving the performance of your Fallout 4. Next up, we have FPSL, Lighting and Tweaks Performance. This mod adjusts and enhances Fallout 4's lighting, shadows, and light radius to improve performance and enhance visual effects. It comes in three versions tailored to vanilla, NACX, and polluted climate, each optimized for their respective environments. This mod offers the additional benefit of optimizing lighting and shadows while enhancing overall quality. With FPSL, you can elevate the quality of your lighting, shadows, and light radius. Next, I'd like to introduce some innovative mods that help reduce loading times. First up is the Long Loading Times Fix. This plugin accelerates the slow portions of the game code, making the loading thread faster. It cuts down loading times when transitioning between locations using long, black loading screens or elevators. It also shortens loading times when revisiting recently visited places and addresses vertical synchronization in game for high frame rate monitors. It's an excellent mod with various performance enhancing features. Next is the Disk Cache Enabler. This plugin allows Fallout 4 to utilize the OS file cache, reducing disk access over time and enhancing performance. It's particularly useful for players using HDDs, so I highly recommend it to those using this type of storage. Next up is Topol 774's 1K Texture Pack. 
Topol 774 offers a 1K texture pack for mods like Another Pine Tree Forest, MM Aesthetics, Boston Natural Surroundings, Feral Ghouls Expansion Pack, and Performance Textures for Mutilated Dead Bodies. Of course, you need to have the prerequisite mods installed first. If you're a player already using these mods and experiencing heavy frame drops, consider upgrading your frames with Topol's texture pack. In my case, I installed this texture pack for another pine tree forest and MM aesthetics and filmed the video, so please take that into consideration. In this segment, I'd like to introduce Boston FPS Fix PRP Edition. Boston FPS Fix is likely familiar to many. It's a mod that reconstructs pre-combined meshes and pre-visibility data to improve frames in the Boston area. PRP Edition extends the same work to the DLC areas, enhancing the overall frames and stability of Fallout 4. Boston FPS Fix PRP Edition combines the strengths of both these mods while addressing conflicts with the unofficial Fallout 4 patch and fixing some bugs. Personally, I've experienced flickering when using Boston FPS Fix occasionally. Therefore, if you're using Boston FPS Fix without PRP Edition, adding Flicker Fixer Exofide can improve performance and stability by addressing flickering in the Boston and Cambridge areas. I believe Flicker Fixer Exofide can be a fantastic mod to complement Boston FPS Fix, as it focuses primarily on fixing flickering in the Boston and Cambridge areas. However, if you're using PRP Edition, you may not need this mod. It's worth considering. Lastly, Let's revisit Optimax All-in-One, a big FO4 performance mod, which I introduced most recently. This mod stands out for using artificial intelligence to create beautiful, lightweight texture packs. The fact that all textures were generated using AI makes it truly unique. Every texture has been resized to either 1K or 2K, and they come with optimized mipmaps. This ensures similar or even better quality compared to vanilla textures, while also providing a boost in frame rates. This aligns perfectly with our current topic, which is why I wanted to highlight it once again. If you like the sound of it, I highly recommend giving it a try. Thank you for joining me on this journey to enhance your Fallout 4 experience. Remember, these mods are here to elevate your gameplay, so go ahead and give them a try. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming tips and mod recommendations. And donations through Patreon are very helpful in video production. Until next time, wander the wasteland with newfound confidence. Happy gaming.